Welcome to Pool Pro Office and let's get started with your initial setup. We'll head to the settings tab and as you'll see on the very top with the outline this will be your initial setup. The first one is vendor management. In vendor management we need to add all your employees, your subcontractors, your municipalities, anyone that's going to have a physical presence on a project or will need to have that communication. Now this could be either add a vendor and add each one at it individually or you can do an export from your QuickBooks or your accounting program and we can import those folks in for you. At that point all you have to do is create the matrix of who those folks are whether they're active or inactive uh, whether they're uh, contractors, service techs, employees, schedulers, designers, or supers, banks, builders, engineers, electrical, manufacturer, supplier, permit agency, city, corporate director, CC and BCC, and my company. This matrix drives the drop down boxes throughout Pool Pro Office. It also sets up the information regarding each person. Let's take the Artful Pools Design Consulting. It's going to have my email address, phone number, address, and we can also set up the individual draw schedule for that for your company. So when I pull up your standard draw schedule, it will calculate your uh, draws automatically based upon your contract amount. In this vendor management, we also have the ability to store documents, so it becomes an employee Rolodex. Uh, so you could store any documents related to this uh, subcontractor employee at the same time. You can also store their information on their tax ID, license number, uh, description, workman's comp expiration, and general liability. So it creates a basically a digital library and Rolodex of all your folks that are involved in building your progress, your projects. If you decide to have it swept in, then they'll be swept in with your accounting program and all you'll have to do is click the uh, individual matrix. Or you could add each vendor and type in who they are, their email address, phone numbers, and click there again who they are. So that's the first stop is let's get your folks in here so they're in the program. The next step is once they're in the program we can set up user accounts for all those folks that you have that need to have access to Pool Pro Office. At each time you set that you can also figure out what privilege set you want to assign them to. So management has the capability of assigning a privilege set to each user. Once we set the user we can activate it and it will go up to the top and you can activate them. You also as management have the ability to deactivate anyone at any time. So if you decide to let somebody go you can deactivate them from the program. Every now and then when we set up your user account which will be your username we also people forget their password you can actually reset their password they can go back to the default password and reset their password so each user can choose their own password but you still have the control on managing them and resetting their password if they forget them the next step is your company logo that can be changed at any time you can insert a new logo at any time and that goes up here. That logo also goes on all your documentation, uh, your work orders, your purchase orders, your service orders, and uh, all your email communications. The next one is the outgoing email preferences. And this sets up a gateway for outgoing email through Pool Pro Office. It only needs one email account and this can be done through Mandrill, it can be done through SMPT, it can be done through SendGrid, which is a new feature where we've been using that allows you to create an account 
and it sends out and gives you an analysis of what uh, emails have gone out, which ones have been successful, and which ones have failed. Uh, so you set up your email outgoing account in Pool Pro Office. The next one is the Milestone Manager. The Milestone Manager enables you to customize how you build your master set of projects. And this would include everything from the very beginning, from signed contract all the way through to Pool Complete. Not all projects will have all these, but we want to create a master set for you to work within. Uh, there will be a default one, which starts with signed contract, sales checklists, uh, physical folder, scans to Pool Pro Office, manager approval, deposits. In this default, we also include checklists and we also include the money process because those are important milestones to uh, manage. You can customize this, so each user can choose their own adventure, how you build your pools. You can change the name, you can change a sort order, you can assign a default vendor if there's one vendor for it, or if there's multiple vendors that may do this particular milestone, you leave it blank. You also have the ability to create whether or not you want each item to become a production report item. You also have the ability to create an email status which would add it to the schedule tab. An example here at Shotcrete Shell uh, there's an HTML editor built in Pool Pro Office that enables you to create these these templates communication templates to the client at any milestone. This is an example of and so it begins talks about the excavation talks about the steelwork and the gunite it also has a, an example that lets the customer know they need to water the shell two times a day for the next seven days. Uh, this particular example had a great photo of the project coordinator, the, the how to get in touch with uh, Alberto, and it also about their uh, referral system, and they engage with the customer throughout the whole process with their social media. So communication is extremely important. We enable you to communicate with the client at every step of the way through custom-built templates built in Pool Pro Office. Uh, if you don't see one here you want to customize, you can add a new milestone. But that's the Milestone Manager. And for those folks that are overseas, they may have uh, printer paper size differences than the United States. We have that capability of adjusting here. So this is the brief explanation on how you get started with the initial setup. I'll do another video on customizing your setup and further enhancing your setup in the settings tab. Uh, but that's it for the initial setup. That's all it takes from this point on. Once this information is in here, you can add leads, you can build your existing projects out to current status, and you can take service calls. Also, at the very beginning, we generally ask for an export of your clients. If those clients were imported in here, then you would be able to see those in the active, inactive projects. We generally report import everything into the inactive then you can move the current active projects in here. Uh, so those exports can be imported in here so you have your client database built in Pool Pro Office from the very beginning. Uh, your vendors, your employees and subcontractors would be here in the vendor management and from that point you're ready to get started in Pool Pro Office. I'll also further explain in other demo, demo videos on how to enhance your settings and your settings and from there we'll talk about adding a lead, adding a project, and adding a service call. Those three repeat tasks are simple and if you can do those three repeat tasks you will be successful in Pool Pro Office. Thank you and we look forward to assisting you in with technology solutions for your business to increase sales, increase better communications with your clients, and also better project management. Thank you.